All right, guys, so here are all of the bags of decor and decorations that I picked up for this year. I haven't purchased new decor or decorations for the holidays in quite a number of years since the boys were basically babies essentially um, and the reason was just because they were little and I just didn't want to get anything that I thought was you know too much or that they would want to touch all the time and have it break and whatnot now a lot of this stuff you know is from dollar store and it's a little bit cheaper and all that but I just wanted some extra things you know I, wa I love having the house decorated you know all over the place for the holidays um, so I kind of started cheap just because this is like I said the first time I've been purchasing holiday decor in quite some time and I kind of just want to see what I'm liking again what I'm into just because I haven't done it in so long I'm not going to spend you know heaps of money on stuff and then be like oh you know what I don't actually really like that so I think I'm gonna start cheap the way that I did this year and kind of build my stuff up until I really really know what it is that I like so this is the start as you can see there's one two three four five six seven bags of stuff here so I'm gonna sit down and I'm going to haul it all for you guys so you can see exactly what I bought hey guys welcome back so sorry if I am not very chipper in this video or if you kind of notice my mood a little bit down um, today has just been a very long day and actually it's been a very long month rather and um, normally this time of year is just so exciting and which it still is and it's just normally it's just you know a fun time of year but there's just been a lot of different things that have been happening in the past month that are just They've been kind of weighing me down a little bit, or a lot, stressed out lately, I've been. And uh, yeah, I just feel like it's kind of really showing through now. Um, today was kind of a really not so great day. Uh, I might share with you guys in you know another video about what's been going on, but right now I'm kind of just in the thick of a lot of things and um, yeah, I think maybe once I come out on the other side or things just kind of lighten up a little bit, it's nothing like life or death or anything like that. It's just, they're just, in my life, I've just been stressed with a lot of things lately. But, um, anyways, back to what this video is supposed to be about. Um, I purchased a lot of holiday decor and different little things, uh, that I'd like to have up. And kind of just make the holiday a little bit more fun and I'm hoping once this stuff is actually up that it will brighten my mood a little bit more make everybody in the house a little bit happier and chipper and kind of make it really feel like Christmas you know when you see the Christmas lights and decorations and all that kind of stuff it just it makes makes me feel good anyway so I got a lot of this stuff this past weekend and um it's actually quite a few days later now and i just as i said i've been super busy and i just haven't had time to haul it for you every time i get a couple minutes to um think and i'm like oh i'm gonna go and hang up some of those decorations or gonna go put that out i think no i can't because i want to haul it for you guys i want to show you guys because it's the first time that i've purchased like i said any sort of like holiday decor in quite a few years since the boys were young as I was saying in the intro there so it's actually for me it's really exciting like I say when you guys see this stuff some of it is dollar store um, you know cheaper and Walmart type items and things like that but as I said I didn't want to spend a lot because I don't know what really I'm gonna like and what's gonna really fit so I didn't want to spend a lot of money and really I didn't have a lot of you know money to spend I had a very very tiny budget for this so please excuse any TV shows or music or anything like that that you might hear going on in the background I am doing this in the evening the boys are home and um, they're watching uh, some shows out in the living room 
and in this place you just hear everything that everybody is doing. You might hear you know, traffic going on outside. Please just excuse all noises. <laughs> That's all I can say, nothing I can do about it. So let's just get into the video. We are going to start with the dollar store. And I got this awesome reusable like Marvel characters bag. It is huge. And I thought it'd be good to like carry around gifts for people or baked goods that I'm gonna be making and things like that. So in here, I got a few kind of fun things. So first thing I got was for my puppy dog. It is a dog advent calendar, which I thought was super duper cute. It is uh, 24 bone-shaped rawhide munchies that are behind each of these little windows. It's a little late, so I mean, I can still do this one for each day, so that's kind of like his little present, we'll say, for uh, January, I guess, for the new year, because really, we start it now, we only have like a week or so until Christmas, so yeah. So this is for my puppy dog. I picked up these fun little snowman banners that you can just draw faces onto if you'd like or you can like cut out people's faces and put it on there. I just thought they were super fun, something cute that the kids could do and it's just just something fun to hang up. So cheap but fun. And I got some candles because we needed some candles. Um, I like to use these sometimes just, you know, especially when the power is out, things like that, but just once in a while I like to just have some candles on, so I got a few of those. So not necessarily for Christmas, but I still got it, so I thought I'd show you. I also got a lighter because the lighter that we used to start our fires was pretty low, so I just got one of them for the candles as well. I have been looking for one of these letter board signs forever, and I was so excited when I went to the dollar store and they had a whole bunch of them there. I was so excited. So I just got a black and white one, but they actually had like all these fun colors and I'm really, really tempted to go back and get a whole bunch of the different colors. So there was this kind where it was just black with white background and then um, black letters that come with it. And there is 147 characters that come with it. And it's not just letters. There's also just um, like characters that will come with it as well. So like you can see on the back here, what it comes with, a whole bunch of fun things. And I just thought this would be great, put like a little inspirational quote or message on it that I could look at and just kind of keep me motivated and things like that. But um, yeah, I thought it'd be cute for the holiday season, could have like, you know, holiday messages on there. So I had to pick one of those up, but they have like pink and turquoise and, um, couple different colors so I'm really really tempted to go back and kind of have one of these in like each part of the house which would be really fun kind of have like maybe one in the bathroom one in the living room just one everywhere that has like a different message on it I just feel like it would be be something that would be really great to have for everybody to be reading you know something positive something motivational something like I just think it'll be a great idea I'm really excited about that then we start getting on to the decoration portion of the video. So at the dollar store, I picked up one of these uh, door hangers. Now this goes, this part up here hangs over the top of the door and then you can hang whatever you want over the front of the door. So whether it's a wreath or, um, you know, a decoration of some sort. Now I got this at the same time as I got that, because I thought this was so adorable. It's a huge snowflake with these huge gems on them in turquoise and like light green and pink and blue. They're just, it was just so pretty. And I had the idea originally that this hanger could hang this on the door, but then I got two others um, that I thought could go in other doors too. But now I'm not sure I gotta have to put them up and see what I'd like to do, but that's my idea anyway. Might go on a door, might hang from the ceiling maybe, I'm not sure, but I will figure it out. And next dollar store bag, as I told you, I got some other little hangers, and I don't, I don't even know if this is gonna fit in the shop, but this is like a huge stocking hanger, and there is actually two of them, yes. Now they're exactly the same, because originally when I found these, 
um, I was in a different dollar store and they didn't have any of the snowflakes when I found this. This is the only ones they had and I thought they were super cute and I did get two because I was originally going to put one in the front door and then I was going to put one on the boys bedroom door. And I did end up getting two more uh, door hangers for them. And then I picked up a bunch of these fun little poinsettias. There's like a velvety feel to the to the red ones and then these ones are more like um not plastic but it's more like uh not even cloth but they're just like i don't even know just like some sort of material but they're just not like soft velvety like these are and they have these little clips on the back can you see that there there's a little clip and you can like clip it on the tree or um, I was actually thinking of putting these on like garland or something like that. I thought that would be really cute looking. Got about five of those. There's one, two, one, two, three, four of the red ones and just one of the silver ones. I was actually planning on getting um, three more of these silver ones at the other dollar store that I went to. I did go to two, um, like I said, so I was hoping that the other dollar store would have the silver, but they didn't. So now I have one silver and four red, but I'll make it work. Now we're on to dollar store bag number three, and this one is kind of hefty. So to start, oh, I'm not gonna get all in. to start, I picked up some garland and these are just kind of bunches of garland they are eight feet so 2.4 meters of garland and the reason I got these was because I want to put them over the main doorway and then I was thinking to also put it over um, above where the Christmas tree is going to be and I'd like to decorate the garland like I said maybe with the poinsettias or um, I actually got some other like little bead things you'll see coming up next. So I got two bunches of the garland. So there's two of those. And then I got these to put on the tree. Um, I was kind of going for an overall kind of like red, gold, silver, and sort of theme this year, I noticed. I kind of just started getting things and I was like, that's kind of what my theme is this year. So I got these to put on the tree. I got two of these and they have four of each color in them and I, I don't know the red and gold balls in there they, they just won me over so I got two of those and then here is the other banner that I picked up this is basically the exact same type of banner except it is little Santa Clauses just hang it up and you can decorate the little faces or you can, you know, take pictures and put them on, but they're super fun. Again, another little activity for the kids. I thought they could help because they're really into um, wanting to help with decorations and like help with baking and stuff like that. So I thought this would be like a really fun little craft for them to do. And then for the tree, like I was saying, I wanted to get new decorations because I haven't gotten any in quite a few years. And for some reason, I was really into wanting to get um, the like long, thin, like, bobbles like not the round balls for the tree but kind of like longer I don't know why I was just thinking like I wanted long things for the tree I don't know but anyways I saw these in the dollar store they're uh 10 pieces to a pack and they're basically like little icicles and I thought they were just adorable they had a couple of packs that were like super duper long like from here to about I guess it would, would have been like one and a half of these. And I just kind of thought they were a little bit too long, a little bit too overwhelming, I thought, for the tree. So I got three packs of these. Like I said, there's 10 in each. So there's 30 of these all together. And they come with strings already on them, which is great. But I just thought that they would look really pretty, like I was saying, with the, um, it's like red, gold, and silver sort of theme that I'm going with. Now, I know you guys can hear these bells. It just totally reminds me of Santa Claus. But I saw these and I was like, oh my God, they are adorable. So I got these. They're basically like beaded garland, they're called, but they're like strings of beads and they have little bells on them as you can see. And I think they're just so sweet. I was thinking to put these on the tree when I first looked at them, but then I was like, I don't know. I feel like they would look really, really cute 
on the garland. So I was thinking like this and then wrapping this through the garland would look really sweet. But I don't know, because I was originally thinking of putting lights in the garland, but then I saw these and I was like, this might be a little bit easier because then I wouldn't have to spend as much money on getting lights for the garland because the only lights that I have are I usually put lights around the window on the inside of the windows and I only have enough just to do inside of all the windows and because I was already spending money on the new decorations I didn't want to spend more money on lights so I ended up getting four packs of these strings of beads because I figured I was hoping that four of them would kind of go around the entire tree but then when I handed over to the other dollar store they had these beads which I was just like in love with so these are gold and they have red and green bells on them which I thought were so sweet and they were so cute looking so I ended up getting four of those as well and now I'm kind of like I don't know what I think I want on the tree is the gold or the red I'm not sure like I said I think it's gonna be it's gonna be dependent on what I think looks better overall on the tree or on the garland I mean I think they look cute either way but I think if I had to do it again I'd probably just go and get all of these like maybe eight of those but they didn't have any more than four of these so I'm like, well, I have four of the red and I have four of those. So we'll just see which are going to go where. But either way, the garland is going to get some of those beads and the tree is going to get some of those beads. So that is everything that's in that bag. All right, so now we're going to head on to the Walmart bag. The first thing that I got from Walmart is this adorable let it snow sign. And it actually lights up too. You can actually preview it up here. I mean, isn't that just so stinking cute? I thought it was adorable and it's just, you know, double A battery powered and I just thought it was so adorable to put up somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where yet, but I think it's, I just think it's really cute. It's so sparkly and festive and the snowman and everything. I just loved it. I had to get it. I can't wait to put that up. That's one of my favorite items that I've gotten so far this year. And then I got a new tree topper. We have had an angel on our tree for quite some time. And I'm not entirely sure if I want to change from the angel yet, but I did grab a new tree topper. It is a star and this star does light up. Oh wow, that is like so bright. You guys can't even see it, but oh, let's see if you can. Oh, there you go. Perfect. It's so pretty. It's like pinks and purples and blues and it like color changes. Oh, I loved it and the boys helped me pick it out. So I was really, really, really happy with it. And um, like I say, color changes, so I think that would be really cute. So I got that. Like I said, I'm not sure if I want to get away from the angel yet. Our angel is kind of old, so I just kind of wanted to freshen things up. And I did look at the angels when I was there, the other um, angel tree toppers, and they were super duper expensive. So the star was kind of my more budget friendly option. So we'll see what we choose in the end. I also picked up this um, Smurfs holiday movie. It is uh, the Smurfs A Christmas Carol. And it was in one of those like $5 bins. So got that for the boys. I've actually been wanting to start this tradition with the boys for a while. And I do tend to do it, but the ornaments that I've gotten for them in the past have just been so cheap that they end up cracking and they're just, they're just not very good. And they're old enough to the point now where I feel like we can get some nicer things and maybe everything won't get ruined. <laughs> Fingers crossed, here's hoping. But anyway, so I ended up getting them these little Christmas balls. Well, I guess they're not little, they're actually pretty big. <laughs> I just thought that they were really cute. They're very simple and they kind of go with my theme, red and silver. So we're gonna try those out this year. Um, they really liked them. They helped me pick all of this stuff out actually because they were with me that day. All right, so Walmart bag number two. Has a lot of kind of fun stuff in it, I feel like. So this is going to be going in the bathroom. It's a nice little towel set. I don't have a holiday towel set, like a decorative set. I mean, it still can be used just, you know, as for the everyday, but I'd really wanted one that represented the season, you know, and I thought this was really cute. It was only $9.98, which I thought was great for a face cloth, hand towel, and um, 
slightly larger hand towel. I thought it was very cute, it's very sweet. It has mistletoe on it, as you guys can see. So it says mistletoe on the top. And then it has a picture of mistletoe. And then some more mistletoe on the bottom. I feel like that's just gonna make the bathroom look a little bit more festive. And then for the bathroom again, I got this really sweet shower mat. So it has let it snow on it with some snowflakes. And it has like that gray silver tone to it, which I thought was adorable. And it was only um, $9.98, which really wasn't bad. And then to match that shower mat, I also picked up a two-piece seat cover and contour bath mat set in red and silver. So as you can see, you have the toilet seat cover there and then the little one to go in front of the toilet. So I thought that'd be super cute. They both have snowflakes on them. And I just think they're so stinking adorable. I think that's gonna look great in the bathroom. It'll help make the bathroom look really festive. And then I also have a holiday soap that I actually received from somebody last year that I'm gonna put in there as well. So I think it'll help it look really cute. So in the last Walmart bag, I actually have picked up these lights. Um, we've had a few of these before, but a lot of them have actually ended up breaking. And they're actually just so old that doesn't matter what you do with the bulbs, change the bulbs or what have you, um, they're just not working anymore. So we ended up picking up three of these to replace some of the ones that don't work anymore. We usually put these in the windows um, on the sill and then we put lights or I put lights around the outside of the window and it just, oh, I think it just looks so adorable from outside. It comes with orange bulbs just because they're supposed to look like little candles and then the orange bulb is supposed to look like a flame naturally. But I mean, you can put any color light bulb in there. I have actually gotten like reds and blues and greens and yellows and all sorts of different colors and I've changed them and I think they look really cute too. Just kind of adds to the, the brightness of the holidays I think. But yeah so I got three of those. The last thing that I picked up is another favorite of mine. I was really going back and forth and back and forth really contemplating if I wanted to get this and I did. So this was 1997. This is probably like to me, it was a very spendy item. Even still, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have spent that much on this, but I feel like it's something that's gonna last for a long time. And I think it's really, really cute. I think it's gonna look really nice in the middle of our table. So these are some candles, and these are not real candles. These are battery-operated candles, and they are meant to look like real candles. Wherever you put them, so you put the batteries in the bottom, and then they have um, on the inside they have these little uh, bulbs and when you put them on they glow like a candle would so they kind of go up and down sort of thing um, with the light and it has a little remote you can shut them off with the remote or you can have the little switch on the bottom and just turn them off that way it's up to you but I just thought they were so cute and they have little berries in them and like little leaves I just thought they were so festive and I can't wait to put them on the table. I have a red table runner that I'm gonna put on the table as well and then I'm gonna stick these in the middle. I think they're gonna look really, really, really sweet. So I think, yes, that is everything, guys, that I picked up this year. It's not a lot, like I said, it's a start and I'd rather start small. And then if there's things that I don't care for, I know what I can change out for next year and I haven't spent a whole ton of money on everything but this is gonna be really fun. Now that I've done this haul for you, I can actually start decorating, which I'm gonna do right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this holiday decor haul. I know it wasn't very big, but to me, this was everything this year that I got to buy some new things for the house. If you liked the video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below where you have been finding your elf. I'd love to hear. And if you have any other ideas for videos you'd like to see from me, then please leave that in the comment section down below as well. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye.